Thank you, Madam Chairman. I would also like to comment on the report. Perhaps I could also allow myself to comment on what Mr Fox said. As far as what the rapporteur said is concerned, I think the proposal it contains many good proposals, including issuing euro bonds. This is something we discussed in the first meeting. I think it provides a good working basis to address all these important issues. Some of the questions, I think, remain unanswered or open. And we need now a broad-ranging political debate which will allow us to take difficult decisions. So we have to answer three questions. Otherwise, I think we'll find ourselves in a vacuum which is not in anybody's interest. First of all, on stabilisation bonds. I don't think we should be talking about support mechanisms here without talking about another very important matter, which is conditionality and its consequences. I say this because these structural adjustment programmes, or they were described as such, but that's not really what they were, come attached to conditions which were so repressive that there was no way for the countries who received help to actually use it. And that's an enormous problem which we can't afford to forget. In many of the Europe, countries of Europe, there's still a very long way to go before we can solve our economic problems. Countries such as Spain, Italy, I believe that if we do want to solve the, solve the problems of those countries, austerity enough alone is not enough. We need growth. The third question for me, and as I've said, I think this is a good working proposal we have here, but I still have the idea that euro bonds are something which should be introduced once the crisis is over, once it's been solved. So, accept the various different funds would be limited to those countries which are going through a process of structural reform. We have to address this. This would mean in practice that European institutions can't help those countries. I believe that we have to give some thought to the role we intend to give to euro bonds. Are they something we can view as a solution? I don't think we should view euro bonds as some kind of reward or compensation for countries. Despite all the examples which we have to the contrary. So, if we don't look those problems straight in the eye, we can never hope to accurately di diagnose the problems faced by Europe. We need a good diagnosis. The preliminary work for that has been done, but what we need now is a clear diagnosis. Otherwise, rather than diagnosis, we'll simply be carrying out an autopsy.